Hey guys, this is the Redstone Warrior. Just, just submitting a video to tell you that the CPU is done. It's been low, it's low quick after the ALU, but it only took me three hours, plus another hour for all the ports. Um, it's actually pretty small. I believe it's still smaller than the original ALU, the internet for the Windows, put out there in the map, and everything's all wired up. It does not have a PC. There's a PC over there I have yet to install. Uh, it has all the inputs for the hack platform computer, and it's essentially done to the point of uh, the internet for the winds is speed race. It took me only about six, seven hours total on this one. Uh, here are the buses. These wrap around to the uh, ALU. Uh, Here's the original output of the ALU, it goes up here and it goes up there and each one goes into the registers, there's the A register and there's the D register. From here is the ALU, from here to here, or from here on. And here are the, here's register D, it goes in here and it, and it's clocked so that only when it's told to, when, only when it's told to uh, allow input is when it allows input. Otherwise, it stays the same. Uh, this CPU is fast, very fast, and I think is the smallest one of its kind, 16-bit, on the internet at the moment. It has the loop under. There is the original register prototype. It is clocked and it's hooked up to a model stable circuit which is a cheat really you could not do that in real life but you could just replace it with a JK flip flop if you were, to, you were to implement this in reality it's a small memory storage device here's the P program counter it basically is a muxer unit which which takes it's a register with the output goes into a half adder which adds one to the entire number and then brings the carry over and then it outputs what it incremented is it plus one and then it ors it either it muxes that with the what the A register would be this is mostly teaser it's not very in depth for a video it's kind of like I just wanted to get this on the web uh, so the CPU is essentially done I'm going to put the program counter up there. The instructional inputs actually read back backwards from the standard. That's the control bit over there and oh and it goes on like it would in the regular hack CPU. Uh, I'm going to use the registers as ROM. I'm going to tweak it a little bit but it should be very space RAM I mean it should be very space efficient. It is not very large for a CPU. I think it's still about a quarter the size of the entire CPU uh, into there for the wind made. And I think smaller than that ALU. There's a bunch of cows, I need to kill one. I have a monostable circuit, it hooks up to the registers, and it's basically the registers hooked up to the ALU with some muxer units and some control logic. There's actually a muxer unit which up here which allows to change from the A register being the input to the memory being the input, the RAM, which is how it uh, deals with memory. So here's the A value, or here's the A register. It actually takes the value and brings it up here. This is the A value, these lines are here, and they're going to connect to the PC up here. The PC is going to be placed on top of the ALU. It's going to be very compact, and here's the memory inputs, these guys are going to be hooked up. It's going to be very compact, and it's going to be a complete CPU. Well, guys, thanks for watching. More coming, I'm going to put this in a blank environment. I'm going to make a nice uh, workspace and I'm going to continue working on this. 
thanks for watching. More to come.